What's up guys, Ubu here, Ubuntu Addicted from Pork Chop Platoon. Just want to bring you a quick little video, well I don't know how quick it'll be, but I'm going to bring you a video on the brand new Xbox dashboard update. So the first thing you're going to notice here is a brand new sleek design, it's got a new layout and easier menu navigation. So right now I'm on the home screen as you can see along the top you have your main sections social, video, games, music, apps, and settings. Right now I am not signed in Xbox Live because I do not have an auto sign in profile. So I am going to sign in first. One thing I want to point out immediately is the awesome feature of basically being able to sign into your profile from any console. No longer are the days of the recover gamer tag so on and so forth. So if I am in the sign in or sign out by choosing my profile, I go all the way to the right and you can see that I can download my profile from anywhere. So if I'm at a friend's house and I want to download my profile, all I do is I go here, I hit download profile, checking network status, and it's going to ask for all your uh, credentials. So obviously I don't need to do that because I already have my profile locally stored. So I'm going to just cancel that. But that is an awesome new feature. And it's basically the new feature called Roaming Profiles. So I'm going to go back and sign into my account. It's password protected to prevent access to other fingers that are in my household. All right, so as you'll notice right away, it brought up a new top menu item, which is called Bing and I think we all know what Bing is, it's a search engine on the internet but now with this new dashboard what they've done is they've integrated connect with gesture control and voice control so if I had a connect right now and it was enabled correctly I would simply be able to say search Xbox for videos and it would all of a sudden pop right over to the video um, screen right here or if I were at Bing and I would say search Xbox for games it would go right over to games you can use your hand gestures to go left and right down over all that it is awesome so let's go back right away to the home screen and just note a few things on the home screen we have um, the first choice is your current disc that's in the tray that's Modern Warfare 3 for me you have quick play which if you bring that up it just has a lot of the recent activity that you've been doing so recently I've downloaded the free sci-fi video app I've downloaded the free Netflix app the free ESPN app um, I've done elite recently I was in the Xbox uh, live dashboard update for the beta so on and so forth so that is pretty neat quick play in the middle you'll see there's four little yellow uh, white circles below this main box and what that does is it's cycling through four various things um, you know at a certain interval right now it just happens to be on explore apps marketplace so let's take a look at that since we're here so right away it goes into music and you see that there's last FM and Zune music so if we go back um, now the biggest point I'd like to make as you see right over here on the right is cloud saves so if I go all the way over to the right to settings you can now save your game saves in the cloud the cloud is the interwebs so you'll be able to access your game saves for a particular game anywhere you're at as long as they have internet connection on their Xbox console and along with roaming profiles that basically allows you to game anywhere on any machine you want whenever you want so check this out you go down to settings under system go so you're gonna need to enable cloud storage so you go to storage and then you see right here cloud saved games configure device 
enable cloud save games it was that easy so now I have 511 megabytes of storage to save my games so say I want to be able to access my Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare game save anywhere I would just go to that uh, game save one is the map pack one is the game save so I choose the game save I say move I'm gonna move it to the cloud it's uploading it to the cloud and it is done so now it is no longer in my hard drive it is in the cloud there you go I can access this from anywhere now which is an awesome feature so that's cloud storage I'd strongly suggest enabling it and putting some of your favorite game saves in there to play anywhere you go so now if I go back to the main um, home screen um, actually we'll go over to the um, video apps now they have added awesome new video apps to the Xbox dashboard so if you go to the video marketplace okay that's accidentally installing Zune sorry my video apps you see that I currently have these video apps installed a video player which allows me to view content uh, streamed on my network right now I use um, Ushare in Ubuntu to share out these various folders to view um, movies that I have stored on the com on my network you have um, you know Netflix, ESPN, sci-fi but if you want to get new video apps you go over to the apps tab and go to apps marketplace so not only do you have what you used to have with Netflix, Hulu Plus, ESPN and so forth you now have epics which allows you to stream thousands of movies and you can watch the today's show to catch up on news and what's not even shown here that's coming is HBO Go is YouTube is UFC TMZ Verizon Fios and among more I mean they have really outdone themselves with this dashboard update in my opinion so if I go back now to the uh, main screen where you can scroll left and right along the main top sections everything else is pretty much um, the last thing I guess I want to point out is the social apps aspect of it so if I go to social the social tab along the top and I go down to friends a new feature is beacons and activity so if I click on beacons and activity it brings up this screen it shows my activity here I can go to the right it'll show my friends activities if I go all the way to the left I can add a new beacon so right now you can see that I have a beacon set for any time a friend comes on and um, is playing Modern Warfare 3 I'll get notified so I can add a new beacon to do um, various things so if, if someone is you know doing uh, Call of Duty Elite or black ops I can have that beacon notify me and also I can have it add that I'm doing that this particular activity on Facebook so I can share it with the social networks I can have it tweeted and Facebooked all from your council never having to leave your council so if I set this beacon that I'll be playing black ops now I can tell it to share this with uh, Facebook as you can see I would hit share and that would do that I'm not gonna do that so every time my activity would be black ops it would and I, and I chose to share that on Facebook it would spit that out on Facebook and say I'm playing it right now and people you know with smartphones on the if they had their uh, status if they were your friend they would be informed right away that you were playing that so it allows for greater tighter integration with your friends and playing online together so that's an awesome new feature um, that pretty much wraps it up hopefully this uh, little video I know granted it wasn't the shortest but hopefully it was uh, informative 
and uh, stay tuned for more great videos and everybody have a nice night take care